The Africa Union is concerned about the ongoing unrest in Burundi. CCTV's Girum Chala caught up with the union's chairperson, spokesperson, Jacob Ino Iben, to find out what plans are in the pipeline to help bring stability to the troubled East African country. How concerned is the African Union about this situation in Burundi? The African Union Commission is, is really concerned. They have, as a commission, but also as the union, uh, the various meetings of the Peace and Security Council have just been um, continuous, and it's a demonstration of the, the deep concern that they continue to have. As a matter of fact, uh, the, uh, earlier today, the chairperson met with the Chinese Special Envoy on Africa, and the discussion focused still on Burundi. And the message that came out is just a reiteration of the need for continuous dialogue. And so we are hoping that the Burundian stakeholders will be meeting as soon as possible to begin chatting away. Because uh, as you know, very well know, the international community, or the East African community, or the African Union, or the United Nations, can only assist Burundians. But the Burundians themselves are the only people who can come out with lasting solutions to the Burundian uh, situation. We understand that the African Union has its military, human rights and police observers on the ground in Burundi at the moment. So what is the latest report from them uh, which can simply tell us what is happening in the country at this particular moment? Well, we have an office in Burundi. Of course, uh, we have uh, some members of observers who are on the ground and so they are continuing to monitor the situation and what information comes across is the, the level of low level, low intensity killings that is happening, low intensity violence. It's quite, it's quite concerning for the African Union, for the chairperson, for the Peace and Security Council, that you never know the point at which such low intensity violence could escalate further. And so it is important that everything be done at this point in time to reverse the current violence that we're currently seeing in Burundi today.